Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Team Fight Manager. We are in the final weeks of the first season in the Semi Pro League. Hopefully, I, I gotta be honest. Fingers crossed. I really hope we stay in the Semi Pro League. I, I cannot be relegated down. But I don't know that I necessarily want to be promoted. I don't think my players are ready for that. I really don't. So what is my dream goal for right now? Probably like uh, take third, you know? I, I would be really, really happy to beat the Glad Gorillas and then tr lose to the Evil Elks. I genuinely, being honest with that, I would not hate that outcome. Though it would be pretty exciting to uh, to win the league as well, and then and probably get our butt smacked against some pros. But we shall see. We shall see. We've got a couple uh, remaining weekly activity things that we can play around with here. Is there any special training, any uh, mental training we want to do? Swap up somebody's brain chemistry. Smell of blood is great. Uh, fast runner on Spence is great. Heroism contempt for the weaklings. This has been really weird. I I can change one specifically for 2,000 bucks. 2,000 to change one specifically. That is wild. I'll tell you what. Let us just... Ay, ay, ay. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Give somebody else some stats. Who Who's playing in that doesn't have any abilities? I don't think anybody's in that, that it doesn't have abilities, right? Uh, more than awesome actually has is in this. You know what? Let's give it a shot. We're we're super duper into the. Uh, oop, what a great uh, outcome of that was. We got no benefits from it. Cool, man. Uh, did we just give that a salty run back? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, Dead End Saint has got some great stats. Spence has been uh, truly incredible. I do think we probably would be best off uh, swapping something here. Uh, Ninja Main swapping to probably like Devil. I could see that being okay. We've got, let's see, Champ Stats. How's the Devil doing after this patch? Not great, but better than Werewolf. Uh, I don't know that it's really going to matter too much. I think we probably just want to go in and train up some damage for Spence. See what happens there. Well, it won't be that big of a difference, truly. Hip, hip, hooray. Yay. God, it really, it, it just slogs, man. It's just a gentle little movement. But alas, we're going to be in playoffs here. Check our results. We get a 1% attack speed shirt. No, I'm not going to take off my maid uniform for that. Uh, attack 2, defense 2. We could do the warrior meme dreams, but this is what we're talking about there. The teddy bear. The teddy bear, the teddy bear. Bumping up our warrior proficiency by like a ridiculous margin. Let's get all this going at max without having to spend money. But alas, let's check the uh, the results of the last game before we go in. Uh, let's see. Team stats. No. Yeah, glad. I mean, oh my god, the glad Colonels won three and oh, that is terrifying. Okay, we we can we can check them. Match record. They won three and zero oh by going generally. Looks like they got like a couple warriors. Generally quite warrior focused. I, I do see a ghost game. I, I see two ghost game wins. Truth be told, if they go ghost and we go warriors, I don't particularly assume they're going to win anyways, though. So I see that. I think that there's going to be a big game of chicken between assassins and warriors. This is something we'll need to watch here. In we go. First playoff game. I am terrified. We could just drop this one and we'd be out for the season generally. Could happen. I, again, it's fine if it does. I'd like to win this one. I would really like to win this one. Bring in Brad, probably. He's got, yeah, like, look at that proficiency boost. It's just nuts. I think we're good on this. I think we're good on this. We're going to want to hopefully play lots of Warriors. Banning, we get first ban. I don't mind if they play Ghost. Like, I don't mind if they play Ghost. Ditch the Illusionist. I don't know what's going on there. I saw that the... Yeah, ban on the Knight makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, if we're going to hopefully go all warriors, we're going to want to make sure we get rid of the pyro. That's going to be problematic. So as far as good warriors go, though, it's kind of strange. Shield bearer first pick is sort of weird. Magic Knight first pick is kind of good in the sense that we're bringing in a warrior and it's not something that is going to necessarily show what we're going to be doing. That being said, it's too important that we have the tanky unit here. They do go ghost. Ghost cook. We definitely go berserker on the back of that. Sniper. I kind of like the idea of going like a uh, devil fighter or something. Do we have any, but you don't have any, uh, yeah, you don't have anything there. You don't have anything there that we're going to be rocking for warriors. That doesn't mean we can't play you, warrior. Smell of blood. Who are we going to put smell of blood on? If we go fighter, then Brad has that to play. I think smell of blood on berserker will be really nice so let's we'll take fighter part of me kind of wants devil we could go magic knight like what are they gonna do what, what's they what are they gonna do for aoe here magic knight would go down a decent amount potentially to ghost which is a concern though that's the big thing monk is nice but then we don't get the boost from it they're not gonna play monk anyways they don't have a front line. Well, Cook is their tank, I guess, huh? Hmm. What are they playing? If we don't... Take Magic Knight, they'll probably take Magic Knight. Swordsman is just so bad right now. Well... His win rate was... His win rate was really bad, which implies that he's bad. <laughs> Uh, Magic Knight is so strange. I just don't want to feed their ghost. 20 defense, 130 health versus Devil who can, you know, I think, I think Devil can work. I think Devil can work to hopefully take out, uh, Piglet once again, of course, always cause a problem. They went, okay, they went Cook, Priestess, Ghost. Priestess into our team is very logical and very concerning. Smell of blood on you, probably? I don't know. Having them eventually take off and go uh, super style with their ultimate seems great. Alt early, probably. Getting rid of Ghost. It does counteract heroism a decent amount here, but Dead End Saint playing on the shield bearer doesn't have me too concern bent out of shape there uh man i would have preferred you on night for sure but hey that was banned what are you gonna do all right i'm not like super sold on this but we'll have to see big thing to watch is of course going to always be forever be the ghost who is not gonna be able to get a whole bunch of stacks off right away which is gonna be nice moving the back line into the front line via the devil here south wind on ghost still does not have any stacks more than awesome popping his ult right away going wild in on the ghost taking him out there ghost does not have any kills yet does have stacks logical echo in the back corner hopefully able to oh teleport to the back line gonna take out the priestess but has a shield up from the original oh my god moment here going absolutely nuts i believe that was the ultimate of the cook keeping them alive there we got shields out the wazoo not a lot of kills coming out in any which way here due to the fact that we have lots of damage in one character but not a lot in others eight to six a very tight game piglet go going down to the back would be massive for this team here we are able to take them out nine to seven in the last moments here it's getting incredibly tight are we going to be able to take out the sniper this is the smallest game i've seen nine and eight no kills anywhere man the devil was able to pop off as i had hoped more than awesome popping back in our veteran papa able to show up to play today with a good old 1700 damage highest damage on the team also took a, a lot of the uh, a lot of the hits and did a really really respectable amount of healing there 
uh, almost completely outhealed the ghost's damage by themselves. Obviously, uh, the sniper did quite a bit of damage there, left a little bit, uh, you know, a little, little bit of a dent in our team for sure. The wild amount of healing between the Priestess and the Cook is something to definitely consider. Them together is really nuts. I do not think that the Ghost was the play for the other slot. I think maybe... Uh, honestly, maybe Void Knight could have worked. Maybe you kept, could have kept Void Knight alive with that combo. I'd like to play Fighter next match. I'm pretty confident. Are you a Fighter main? You are a Fighter main. I mean, probably, man. Uh, Ashmanator not feeling too great. But... A Warrior Master, Void Knight Supreme. Magic Knight Supreme. But if we don't get Magic Knight... It's going to be a little bit weird. Uh, truthfully, we're probably not going to be playing a whole lot of... A uh, whole lot of mages right now. I think it's going to be between... Ooh, but then we have no life of the party. Meaning Ash is going to come in depressed. Oh boy. I think we I think we just run it back if it ain't broke. We do have to we are playing a best of um best of 5. Banning Cook, I'm happy to see it. I don't want to play it. Um I'm going to ban Illusionist. I don't know if I want to ban Pyro or not. What counters Ghost? Because I kind of want to ban that and bait them into it. So that I can take Knight. But unfortunately, Knight is what counters it. I'm, I'm going weird here. They're going to take one thing that's scary. It's probably Knight. They're taking Sniper first. Letting us have have the Knight, though. I, I really like that for us. Um, Devil, again, is probably a good pick. Fighter Band. You know what? Hit me with the Berserker again. I'm going wild here. I think this is Warrior Meme Dream. I, okay, we get, we get one extra pick. They have the Shrine Maiden. Uh, at this point, they're not going to take Priestess also, right? If I take Devil, they're not going to take Priestess, are they? Magic Knight. Ghost. Okay. Alright, their team is a lot more scary this time. A lot more scary. We could obviously run Shield Bearer, and it's weird and funny, but I think they have enough damage to get through us. I don't know that the Priestess is going to necessarily stop the Magic Knight from destroying us, or the, uh, or the Sniper. Backline. Priestess could probably outheal the ghost by themselves, though. It's pain! This decision is pain! This is a really tough one. Okay, let's think about this. Devil hopefully can handle this backline, or at least bring them into the point where they're going to get smacked. Uh, if only Monk was just a warrior. That'd be great. Monk could be a fine pick. Anywho. We're quite clumped. Uh, Magic Knight's good against clumpage. But I don't want to necessarily have another squishy. If I have another squishy, it has to be Priestess. Alright. It's a weird one, Mr. Grinch. Again, Spence on Fast Runner. I do like that idea. Logical Echo, I guess, with... No, we... we, we... Ah, wow. Spence on Priestess, so we can get Smell of Blood going on Logical Echo. 
who will largely be getting... I don't like this. I don't like Spence on Priestess, but I do like Smell of Blood on Devil. This situation is awkward, and let's... You know, in hindsight, with the way all the picks went, I would be probably happier with Justice Tom here on, on this slot, which is unexpected at this point with uh, how much Spence has been showing off. But hey... I think we send it back. Again, this is a little bit more concerning. We're going to have a little bit more damage coming out from their team. We may be seeing a much higher kill game. Teleporting to the back line, hopefully taking out their Shrine Maiden. We did. Sniper goes down. First stack there on the Ghost, but an ultimate comes out from the Berserker. Destroys them while the ultimate is down from the Shrine Maiden. Devil, Logical Echo in the back here, able to start getting up some stacks. 27 damage coming out. If Logical Echo does not get killed, this is going to be a completely one sided game here absolutely looks like what is going on at the moment here sitting in the back line nobody touched and the only one who can give a passing glance is going to be the ghost and they're certainly not going to be doing anything on their own spence able to keep themselves alive through the ghost assault south wind going in the back here we've got a whole bunch of tanks dying 420 blaze their team right down to the ground 422 into the last moments here and a fight that looked a little scary and in Vic and Pan turned out to be probably the easiest win I think I've had all season. On the back of Logical Echo carrying. Despite the cringing of Spence being on Priestess, surely, uh, from people watching. Rito's God. Never doubt. Never doubt the king. Never doubt the king. I just looked at this team and I saw not a lot of characters getting kills except for Devil, and I was just like, okay, that's got to be Smell of Blood. So that worked out really well. Spence playing on Priestess, you know, hats off to Spence for that. Outstanding. You did you did a good job at, at playing the night. Uh, it's probably going to be banned, but alas. Ain't broke, no fix. Ain't broke, no fixin'. What do we do here? If I ban Priestess, they can't really do Priestess Cook Meme Dream. Banning Berserker is very logical. I ban Pyro so I can run more Warriors. They ban Ghost. They're like, ah, we can't play it again. We can't do it again. It's just not working. They take Fighter from us. I probably would. <sighs> fighter and Shield Bearer. Interesting. Going Illusionist. I'm not happy about it, really. Swordsman is kind of strange. Uh... Take Magic Knight for the clumpage. And then what else do we have here? There is obviously Monk is a valid choice here. Cook is a valid choice here. I kind of expect Devil if I t if I take Cook, expect Devil. Cook was the highest win rate champion moving into this uh, this match. Werewolf. I think that's a I think that's a pretty smart choice. I think it counters Cook decently well because uh, it does have the rending effect, making it so they um what should we call it? So they get less healing. There we go. I like this. I like this setup fine. Um. We don't really want to alt early. We have heroism. We are, we are up two games. I think that this is looking okay. I'm not super happy about it. They're very clumped up. Big thing to watch is, is the Void Knight going to go down ridiculously fast? The answer is going to be a resounding no right now. Getting a lot of damage out completely for free on Spence. 
playing the wonderful off oh my god off the beaten path champion for them all the ultimates are coming out from them still have the ultimate on the swordsman taglet there now out all of the ultimates are down reset back to neutral and we are still in the lead none of our ultimates have come off yet for our team which is going to be incredibly ridiculously in our favor one would think an incredible ability out there from magic knight running through their team right there spence not going down in the slightest ultimate coming out from the magic knight going to bring them all into the fray all of our ghosts here going to destroy them even further making their team look like they don't belong in the semi-pro league after a very frightening early season for the Rito Hypers. They are dominating this show match here. It feels like a show match. It sure as hell don't feel like playoffs. They can't even win a game. Glad Gorillas 3-0'd the Dolphins and the Rito Hypers 3-0'd the Gorillas. That, if that is not powerful, I don't know, man. Pro League Division 2. Oh my god. Full plate equipment. What's changed? Spence got some damage up. Sounds good. Social Calamity got uh, damage up as well. Plate. Knight Champion Master. I mean, I'm. It's it's good. Don't get me wrong. I think it's good. And it could actually be the pick. No, it's two mastery. It's like the two attack, two defense. It's basically two mastery on every single hero. Life steal four percent. That's just too good. When HP is full, attack speed increased by five five percent. It's another void <laughs> magic knight meme dreamer. Quick cast. These abilities, though, th this is... I know we can't recruit right now, but this is a person who is asking to be a mage or just somebody who has, like, really, really solid abilities. All right. Evil Elk. Again, Cook Illusionist. Their win rate's actually kind of nuts right now. Knight quite up there as well, of course. Sniper doing all right. Pyromancer, theoretically, you would think would be doing better with such a warrior-heavy meta, but it might not be a warrior-heavy meta. It might just be... Um, this is crazy. This is a problem. Somebody was telling me that Cook isn't viable in the meta right now. And that right there is why I have trust issues from reading the comments. Cook is not viable in the meta right now. 14.5 KDA, next closest, 3.6. What? KDA is everything, man. All right, let's check out the uh, team stats for the Evil Elk. What were they playing last match? Okay, they're playing a decent amount of warriors. They okay, okay. They they know Pyro. They they've heard of the champion. Yeah, I've heard of Pyromancer. Uh, they've got what a weird team here, but it actually seemed to work. No, it worked. It did not work well. It did not work well. They lost. No, they, no, they won. This? Wait, what's happening? Why is it? Did the goo wait? The underline is just like this is the this is the team you're looking at, right? So the goose, the geese win. Won there. Oh, they just haven't played. They haven't played. That's right, because they had buys. Okay, all right. But the last game they played, they were playing Berserker. They lost. Uh, I mean. I guess what, let's look at what the giant geese did and see. Uh, it seems to be pretty good against fighting them. They are going ghost. They went ghost. Not afraid to run cook there as well. Okay. All right. I, I you know, yeah, we'll see. We'll see, man. Again, I, uh, I, I don't know. If, I'm kind of afraid to win this one. If we win this one. It's going to be kind of bittersweet. It it really is going to signify a dark turn for uh, for the Rito Hyper's household. Old Rito McMation is going to have to be a little brutal. Going to have to let a couple players go. We are we've we've talked about it. We've talked about it. It's um it may be coming. We may have to let some fools go and it is going to be a shame indeed. 
but the Rito Hypers have to get cutthroat if they want a chance. Who are we banning? I don't know if I want to ban Ghost. I feel like it's like a nice little... I did not mean to ban Priestess, but I'm actually happy about it. Pyro. I'm setting them up to go, like, Shield Bearer. Devil. So that means no Illusionist. Magic Knight is good against other clumped melees. Illusionist. I... I don't know, man. They're so squishy. They're so squishy. <laughs> what do I do with this intel? Do I run werewolf? I think I have to run werewolf. What the hell? I was expecting that. Every one of them is squishy. The least squishy is the devil. This is going to be a nightmare. Monk is the other choice. But I need some damage to... I need some damage to counter them. Otherwise, they will get through us. They will break through us eventually. Uh, Contempt for weaklings... I'm fine with that. Hopefully, yeah. E -R -E. Strange. Alt early. What a weird game. Here we go. We're going to be going in. Spence is first in line to get his booty smacked there. We are going to... Oh, my God. We are going to be seeing some teleports going out. One to one in the early game here. Magic Knight in the back line. Ultimate coming out from Dead End Saint is going to be a nice little free cleanup crew. Going to get potentially even more kills than it normally would in this scenario. Werewolf bringing everybody to the other side of the field for whatever reason. One would not know. Dead End Saint running from <laughs> C to Shine and C here. Keeping themselves alive on low HP due to the brutal life seal they have going on here. S Song on Devil is going to be able to just stand in the back line and get everything done. Hopefully the werewolf will chase them down here and take them out before they can destroy our team from the inside out. Seeing some stacks go out on the ghost. Six and one we are seeing from the ghost. Oh my god, jumping around in the moment. The back line of the devil is able to keep them absolutely in the front of this situation. The devil not going down, never going down. Teleporting around 20 to 12 on what is very clearly a ghost game. Spence. Spence dying a hell of a lot. Holy crap. The assist from, uh, from the devil is quite big. Illusion is quite interesting as well, providing, like, off-tanking capabilities there. The aggro. Relief pitcher. Bring him in. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Do I ban Devil? I think we ban Illusionist, actually. Pyro would be a good pick here. Banning final one is Priestess. I will first pick Knight. It's just so safe. Hook and Ghost. Oh, he's so scary together. I kind of need... I, I'm taking Magic Knight because we, if we have Ash Banner, we need Magic Knight. That was my concern, is I kind of wanted Werewolf to take down the, uh, the Cook's business there. Alright, Magic Knight is a little bit of a spooky pick into Ghost. Uh, we will be taking Berserker because it has been routinely very, very handy. Um... That'll probably go on logical echo. I mean, this goes down here. This stays. This goes down here. This. Oh, boy. 
Is Fighter actually a good pick here? For the CC? God, what a weird meta this is. I don't know, man. The stun is nice. Devil is obviously very good. Are they going to pick? Like, what are they going to pick? I don't know. I have no idea. This is the wild, wild west. Sniper? If they pick sniper, then I want devil. Ah. Ah. Swordsman. They take Swordsman. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. 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 All to early. Uh, smile. Alright, we're gonna be watching, of course, the ghost. The werewolf does go down quite early there. More than awesome. Able to keep himself alive for a decent amount here. Teleporting into the middle is the devil in the midst of all of the chaos. We are seeing our team go down a little bit here. Ultimate coming out from Dead End Saint on the Berserker. Hopefully they're able to pick up a little bit of action there. Logical Echo in the back. A good early ultimate from the devil. Are they gonna be able to stay alive is the big question of the day. Will they be going down to the ghost or not? If they do not, oh my god, what an incredible ult from the swordsman taking down everything and resetting back to neutral, which is not actually what we're going to be looking for in this game. Normally we do. We're seeing a logical echo do pretty decently here, but not as good as they are potentially going to need to. Dead end Saint carrying the game on the back of the, oh my god, Berserker. But the most damage, of course, coming out from the Magic Knight. The weird sleeper OP DPS from quasi-tank action. Seeing the devil go absolutely buck wild in the end of the game here despite pulling a relatively neutral kda 24 to 10 a pretty decisive game on the back of an amazing damage from clutch relief pitcher ashpinator 2000 damage out from ashpinator there truly 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 crazy one and one moving into the next game here viegro Oh boy. Smell of blood is just too good. And and you know what? We're 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 playing a warrior, so Brad is good. You're gonna be banning what first? Banning ghost first. I'm gonna ban illusionist. Seems to counter generally everything I, I kinda wanna play here. Alright, they got first pick. I don't really want to play Werewolf, so I'm going to ban Cook. Sniper. Makes sense. We take Devil, we take Knight. Probably should have taken Magic Knight. Okay, they left it for us. Swordsman. A very quick pick and ban. Bick and pan. Werewolf coming out. Seems to be generally picked to counter the Void Knight, but I don't think it is the Magic Knight, but I don't think it is the play. Uh, all right. What do we got left? Fighters there. We got a devil. Priestess could probably come out to play. Fight. I think we actually have to go fighter. It's a little weird, but the boost and stats we get is just going to be truly nuts. Logical Echo, Spell of Blood on the Devil there. More than awesome playing the fighter. Dead End Saint on the Knight. There is no ghost to be found, so we're going to want to be ulting a little bit later here. We want to win the later game because of heroism. Uh, or do we? Maybe we focus on how, what timing we do for our ults.
simultaneous, actually, to keep logical echoes. Ulting early is actually probably a, a good idea because of the devil, but alas, we're in the game here. More than awesome, potentially going down quite early here on the fighter. Logical echo teleporting the back line, keeping themselves alive. Quite a good showing their Ashmanator laying down the line with a little bit of DPS of their own. Top in the charts for sure quite early here. Taking down the Swordsman on the, over on the left. Teleported to the back with a Sniper out on the... Okay. A, a pretty solid ultimate there from the Swordsman. But ultimately, I've seen much better and I've seen much scarier. We got Logical Echo. Devil Alt coming out. Very scary timing on it. Are they going to be able to teleport out to safety? They are taking out the Werewolf in the back line. All of their team going down in the middle there. Teleporting into safety. Logical Echo quite smart there. The Devil playing with the Warriors to their strengths. They're low HP on Logical Echo. Teleporting the back line. Keeping them a little bit safe. Safe. They are going to probably go down here finally to the shield main, but it's far too late. 1320, moving to the last five seconds of the game here. Absolute <laughs> squad run into the back line. 16 to 22. They were able to pick up a couple kills in the last few moments, but it, nothing even remotely close to uh, to enough. Again, carried on the back of Ashmanator, a relief pitcher, Magic Knight swap in. Just absolutely topping the charts. 11 kills. More surprisingly, only three deaths on this character right now. There is a way to make it work. There were those who said it could not be done. They weren't me. They were me. Uh, you know what? Alt more meticulously. Sorry, gotta keep you humble. If it ain't broke. The question is, like, maybe we should have been, should bring in Justice Tom. They're not- nobody's playing Pyro. Why is nobody playing Pyro? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. There's Pyro. Uh, that's gonna be a problem. There's Devil. I don't really want to play Swordsman on this. Free Stess is another good counter for uh, for Pyro. I don't love this, but... And then the, the Werewolf pick is incredibly logical as a result there uh, to reduce the healing of the Priest. Ashmanator. Rock that. Oof. Brad on the... Uh... Brad on the, the, the priestess. We got some scary looking stats here, but I think hopefully we'll be all right. We're going to want to make sure we ult early and hopefully we can take them down. Uh, Pyromancer is going to be definitely a big concern here. Hopefully it does not lower them enough and then the ghost gets to play cleanup crew. They have just a wild amount of damage. Uh, priestess into ghost is ghost werewolf is pretty scary. This is a, this is a sus game to be sure. All right. Let's watch this, how it unfolds, though. We'll see. It may not be as bad as it seems. Hopefully, we're going to be teleporting the priest, the uh, Pyromancer into the middle, and we did, and they went down very quick. Absolutely like butter. Teleporting through into the center of the Warriors. Good ultimate there, coming from more than awesome. Don't mind if I do. Logical Echo getting the Devil Transformation in the back. Sitting quite in the middle here, nice and pretty. Able to get down their damage without any bit of concern. Ultimate coming out from the Pyromancer. Don't stand in the fire. Werewolf does grab them all put them in the center there for the pyromancer to have whatever kind of damage party they want but they are just going down far too fast on the back of the devil teleporting them into the center of the war warrior mosh pit from hell see you there my friend 21 to 2 this is an absolute nightmare for the evil elks it's getting the <laughs> one way ticket to magic knight hell 15 and 2 with 2,500 DPS on the line, 24 and 8 made that an absolutely decisive set. And with that, the Rito Hypers are going to be promoted to the Pro League. If not winning the entire thing. All right. Let's get ready for our final game, and wherever the wherever the chips may fall, they may fall. We'll just keep ourselves uh, paying attention here to some. Okay, yeah, Illusionist doing great on the KDA, of course. Uh, okay, the the cook 
dropping a decent amount there on the back of us, honestly. We we made the cook not happen. Like, we, we shut them down uh, pretty decently there. Uh, win rate is largely... I mean, it's, they're still doing good. Like, don't get me wrong. They're still wrecking. Knight is, is, is ridiculous. Magic Knight putting down uh, an impressive amount of damage. Their KDA is relatively low, but you wouldn't think so in the games that we played here. Most champions are sitting uh, at a 50% or above win rate. Ghost Berserk Berserker surprises me at 44%, but I think that's just because our team plays them so well. Werewolf down there. Shield Bearer down there as well. All right, here we go. The final fight of the semi-pro league. The giant gooses. No, I no, they're not, I did not misspeak. The game misspoke. And of course, they're going to be the ones that go up to the next league with us. We have to sit with that forever. Spence. Not feeling it today. It's going to be a little concerning. We could bring in Justice Tom, our life of the party. Uh, more likely that we will be playing one of those champions, but... All right. I don't feel good about it, but it brings up the mood of everybody across the board, which is a pretty big deal and something worth considering, and brings us a Priestess main. They are banning the Devil. I would say that that is a very good call. It has been, while we are playing, generally quite warrior-focused. Okay, I can't ban Cook, though. Pick. Oh, boy. I actually don't know. Okay, if there's no Devil, we have to we have to keep that in mind. If there's no Devil, no Pyro, no Illusionist, we can't have there be a Sniper, either. First pick? Werewolf? Are they setting up for a cook, uh, a counterless cook game? Like, do I pick cook anyways? We don't have Ashbinator. This is our first game. They do pick, pick Magic Knight. That is quite logical there. Uh... You know what? Use them if you got them. Justice Tom. Have at ye. Ghost, there it is. Who's the kill is going to be on? Probably Berserker. Kills are going to be on Berserker. We'll put Berserker on Logical Echo. Uh, boy. We need to not feed them. Shield Bear, I know, is a lower pick in the meta, but I think it's going to be more important. Alt early, I guess, destroy the uh, the ghost's life, hopefully. We are going to be seeing the game start right now. Jenkins running into the back line. Logical Echo not able to keep up in defending the back line. The Priestess goes down. Justice Tom is feeling a little bit out of practice here. Seeing a couple kills out right on the board right away is a little bit concerning, but we do have our Berserker ultimate coming out here. Hopefully going to be able to pick up some stacks for Smell of Blood. We are seeing the ultimate come out from Justice Tom, keeping them alive from the assault of the back line double assassin there. Quite concerning. Not able to keep themselves alive too much. Dead End Saint chasing down the werewolf, able to take them out. Peanut sitting there with a couple stacks on the ghost, but unable to take down the knight by themselves. 10 to 6 going into the last few moments of the game. Logical Echo going to need to start to pop off and pop off quick. Dead End Saint starting to go absolutely crazy as well as the game is getting towards the end where they are shining the most. Justice Time going down in the back line. This is looking quite brutal here. 12 to 7. We're not going to be able to switch this up in the last few moments. Logical Echo completely unable to get the stacks they need to survive despite putting down an obscene amount of damage. The rest of the team just didn't have any. Fighter probably was the pick, I guess. I but the, does the fighter even the fighter even doesn't do too much more damage. You know what? Don't try and do the spotlight by yourself. Hey, sit sit, sit down. It's time. It's time. We are going to be banning Illusionist. Devil. Smart. 
Ouch. Ouch. Knight is always the first pick, though, because it's just like it's innately not counterable, really. Ghost is concerning. Ice Mage? Hmm. Berserker has been really tried and true for our team. Truly has been the big, the big ticket that we've had. Uh, solid for taking down Ghost as well. There, um, Werewolf is not a bad pick, but picking it into Ice Mage is a little bit kind of yuck. I'll take Berserker, but not with a huge smile on my face. Shield Bear pick is a little surprising, I'll say. Uh, leaning towards picking Cook, we do know it has great, you know, a great outcome often. I we'll take it. We'll take the Cook. I can I can I play Sniper into this? Probably not. They will probably run Werewolf. In conjunction here, we could we could take Werewolf ourselves, put him on Logical Echo, and have him hopefully get Smell of Blood stacks. We need damage now, though. We need damage. My heart wants Sniper. I don't know if we can do it and live. I really think Werewolf will be coming out the second we take that. And honestly, it'd be a genius pick. Archer's not bad. I really just like Ar not a bad pick conceptually. It's just this champion has been nerfed to the ground and it's truly a time where we need we need archer to be good right now and it's just not uh we need damage and truthfully there just isn't a lot of it swordsman could actually be a pick here it's a warrior it's a damage dealer It's an incredible ultimate to reset momentum. We have two... Fine. Bring it out. There we are. There we are. Logical Echo, Smell of Blood, at Relief Pisture, uh, Ashburnator, why not? They picked the fighter for the final one, and honestly, I, I, I don't think it's stupid. Probably want to ult separately. We don't really want uh, these ultimates coming all out at the same time. Trim too much here. We ulting early may be a good call. Dead Insane running in face first for no good reason. Dying right off the bat immediately here. Ashburnator helping to keep everybody alive, but is it going to remain? We shall see. Ultimate coming out from the fighter. A very good ult. Knocks everybody up in the air. And a questionable ultimate there from Jenkins there. Questionable ultimate as well from the Shield Maiden, but hey, they are sitting at zero, oh, zero 06. Change on the back of Dead End Saints ultimate as we had mentioned. Still waiting on the ultimate. There we go from Logical Echo here. We got five stacks on the Ghost and that is quite frightening. Ultimate coming out from the Knight is going to be a quite good timed one as well. 8 to 6 as we readjust momentum back hopefully into our favor, but we're going to need to make sure we do not drop deaths on the back of the Ghost sitting right here in the middle, 8-8, eight and eight. cleaning back up there. This is looking quite scary. We take out the Ice Mage, the Frost Mage in the back there, clean 10-10. We're going to be next person down is likely going to switch it up, and it's going to be Logical Echo on the Berserker dropping the game for us. Wahapa. Logical, logical Echo, Wahapa. 906 is, is not the amount of damage we need to see. Dead End Saint getting 7 and 5, but m the big thing to look at there is Contempt for the Weaklings and 1 assist. Uh, they took all those kills and only did 580 damage. They took a lot of damage for the team there. But alas, the Giant Gooses did not happen there. Don't beat yourself up over it. Meaning, yes, it was your fault. The giant geese, gooses. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot. I keep on forgetting it's wrong. Monk man.
first pick swordsman? I, sp I suspect Pyro. No? I'm going to preemptively pick Devil because I need them to not take it to cover whatever other character they pick there. Werewolf is the other one there. It's a strange team. I, I don't know if I think it's great, but I don't have to think it's great. <laughs> uh, we, we, we lock in Berserker and smile on that one. Definitely swap that there. Ashpinator is going to definitely be playing that. We got some mains bound and then Logical Echo on the uh, the Devil. An absolutely terrifying uh, cook there. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get the Devil Ultimate off early and they'll be able to keep them alive through the back of a really good front line. Ashmanator on their main here. Can we see a reverse sweep or are we going to drop the game? Real Hyper is going to take second place in the league, taking the first kill on... Uh, on this game that is for sure here seeing a bunch of action going down in the middle and largely it is in favor of the Rito Hypers first ultimate coming out from more than awesome here incredibly early of course we are always going to see that there teleporting into the freeze radius is not a good call for the devil and absolutely oh my god you need to just take a breather after that one the werewolf grabbed everybody set them up for a alley-oop on the Swordsman Ultimate. Absolutely disgusting ordering there. That is going to cause a little bit of a problem. Will it cause a problem big enough to shape the game? I'm not so sure, but losing the Devil Ultimate that quickly into it is going to be a bit of an issue. Seeing, seeing it twi quickly change ties in their favor. 10 to 12 now. Still in favor of the Rito Hypers moving into the last little bit here, but we're going to need to see Ashpinator put down lots of damage and be uncontested in attack. That is exactly what is happening in the last little stretch here. 13 14. We're going to need to see Jenkins go down. We're going to need to see more than awesome stay alive here. We were able to take down two of them. 13 16 moving in in favor of the Rito Hypers on the back of Ashpinator. Destroying with the pocket main. There's no way they let that through a second game. No way. Brad? The match isn't over, Brad. No changes. I don't, I don't want to play Ghost against us. You just don't, don't play Ghost. Banning Sniper. I don't, do I need to first pick Magic Knight? Because they're going to take Knight now, aren't they? No, they don't take Knight into that. Shield Bear or Cook must just be like a really good combo there. Definitely going to be taking the Devil to take down the Pyromancer. It's going to be a little bit spooky. I think we set it. I think they set us up clean for the uh, the Rito Hypers Classic here. It's going to be a little bit spooky. I'm not going to not going to deny, but this just really does work out well. Everybody gets a. You get a main. You get a main. You get a main. All right. Alt early, keep it alive. I think that that is uh, ulting early with the devil is going to be bigger here. Uh, no ultimates that are going to destroy the devil unless they stand in the fire. We shall see. They don't have a whole lot of damage. In fact, they practically have none. It's all on the back of the Pyromancer, who is going to be doing a lot for sure. Teleporting them into the front line. Hopefully can take them out. We did indeed. 1-0. and oh. Seeing the ultimate come out from the uh, cook. Not entirely sure what it does. It's the new monk ult. That's for sure. Logical Echo teleporting to a place where they really should not. Keeping themselves completely safe in the back line here. Teleporting into the fire like a ding dong. Oh my god. 7-2 and two moving into halfway through in the middle of the game. It's looking incredibly clean in favor of the Rito Hypers. But... All the ultimates are now off the table. We're going to see a lot of chaos happen. Logical Echo going down in the back with the Devil. Do not want to see Ashmanator running in first. We're seeing a lot of trouble here where we are all clumped up against the Pyromancer and nobody is taking them out. Nobody is targeting the correct target right in this situation. It is going to be a situation where we drop the game on the back of this. Teleporting the Pyromancer into the back line. Hopefully going to be able to clean this up in the moment. We got the last little stretch here. Next person who goes down, it's going to do it, and it's going to be in favor of them. A buzzer beater in favor of the giant gooses. The stretch in the middle. Nobody was targeting Jenkins. Devil, Logical Echo, absolutely dropping the ball. 
Logical Echo dropped the ball. Nothing more to say than that. That was a game we could have had. That was the target. And that should, logically, mechanically, you know, memes aside, mechanically, that should have been the target for Logical Echo. Like, literally, that should have been the only character that they were targeting with that ability because it was further away. But alas, did not happen. Rio Hypers taking second in the league here. Can't be too mad at that. After such a rocky start at the beginning of the season, we really cannot be too mad at that. Team stats, ranking list, Rito Hypers, we are going to be promoted to the next season. Uh, thwarting the Evil Elks, uh, a, a surprise upset for sure, but absolutely dominated them. Mental training. I don't know, man. We got a lot of money. Special training. I feel like logical echo. You need we need to like teach you a new character. I don't know. I don't know what to do. That that was a that was a roller coaster. I'm like actually I'm like losing my mind here. Uh what do we do? Mental training. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. I mean, if we're going to be playing warrior memes for a while, you know, here it is. Love for red. All stats increase by five when playing on red. Condition does not ever fall between before the below the normal level. Reduces all stats by 10 if they participate in the match from the start. Increases by 10. Okay. I mean, that's actually... Got to be honest. It definitely makes Brad more viable. Relief pitcher Ashvenator has been incredible. Uh, there is a world in which we shape, uh, change it out, though. But I will say, moreover, it may be a better idea to take Ashvenator uh, and... Whoops, where is it? Not that. Uh, special training, Ashvenator. Change out one of these other characters here. To a new warrior, hopefully a solid one. S Holy crap! 15? I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm like super happy about it being Swordsman in specific, but holy crap. Maybe Swordsman will get buffed. Let's attend the ceremony. Let's see what happens. We've got a, a, a big old stretch of memes going on. Some meme games for a bit after that for tomorrow. And then what is hopefully going to be a massive shakeup patch. New champions are going to be added. Uh, hopefully some balance tweaks as well, making a couple people a little bit more viable. Like, what is... I'm going to say my dream for the patch list after this here. Uh, ceremony for the Semi-Pro League. First, we have the Champion Team Award. Goes to the Giant Gooses. Congratulations, jerks. Next, we have the Runner-Up Team Award, in which I can't be too mad. The Semi-Pro League Runner-Up is the Rito Hypers. Congratulations. Prize money worth 600G and the semi-pro silver mouse will be awarded to the runner-up. Most kills goes to... Spence! Player got the most kills is the Rito Hyper Team player Spence. Prize money of 200G will be awarded. Incredible! Most assists goes to... May on the Glad Gorillas. Congratulations to May. Next up, newly promoted and relegated teams. Oh god... The Rito Hypers and the Giant Gooses have been promoted to Pro League Division 2. We will now end the ceremony. See you in the next season. Oh my god. Alright. Attack of all champions de decreased by 50% of the attack speed doubles. All champions prioritize... Beast mode movement speed goes up by 30. That seems hilarious. All right, beast mode. Oh, my God. Spence, congratulations, man. Event match registration. Submit. All right. Well, let me, let me see. What is it? <laughs> Uh, attack one, attack speed up 1%. Is... 
<laughs> what's the math on on whether or not that's good or not i just don't think so tax rate up two percent reduce cooldown by two percent it's good if it wasn't for the fact we have something uh totally busted there all right one two three pop that all the way down one one two three craft go bang all right what are my desires let's take a look at the uh, champion information i want to see desperately desperately i want to see an archer buff uh a little bit of i, I feel like we could see it go either way like if a, a tankier buff like if, if archer got a tankier buff there i mean i'm pretty happy with that like that would work okay obviously i want them to get a dps buff of some sort they've fallen behind the sniper to a great like a great degree but having them just be another kind of like um assassin buster would be quite nice uh fighter i wouldn't mind a fighter buff i'd be fine with it i i don't think ninja needs a buff really i i would i wouldn't hate a knight nerf i don't know if i see it happening it's just like a, such a regular character uh probably probably we'll see it happen though maybe pyro is probably fine how they are swordsman i wouldn't mind a slight a slight attack buff it's a tricky balance that ultimate is a reason enough to pick it shrine main i think it's fine sniper i think is fine maybe a slight nerf uh ice mage i think it's fine berserker i actually yeah selfishly i wouldn't mind a slight buff to it i don't think it's gonna happen uh magic knight Ooh, it exists in a in a very strange realm right now where it is actually kind of good i think i think magic knight believe it or not is fine shield bearer uh i wouldn't mind if they got like so i just want them to have something to differentiate themselves for the better from the knight and truly i think just if the knight got nerfed it would make shield bearer uh more pleasing ghost don't i'm terrified of it don't touch it illusionist i think it's relatively okay it's kind of like a ranged care carry in a kind of a magic way i'm fine with it werewolf i think is actually in an okay spot devil i think is in an okay spot too cook i think is in an okay spot we, you know what we're actually in like a relatively good balanced spot i just really want to see some love given to the archer hopefully a little bit of love given to the fighter uh those two i didn't even mention the monk M monk is monk is fine i think as, as the warrior meta uh ebbs and flows as if it goes back down a little bit i think we will see the monk a little bit more uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. We have the schedule, of course. We're going to see uh, some interesting games here coming out from the Rito Hypers. Going against all these interesting show matches. And then we get the vacation for the whole team. And the end of the season happens with a major patch. Two new champions, massive balance changes. And then the Rito Hypers enter the Pro Division 2 League. Terrifying. And we may see a couple crowd, uh, I don't know, a couple people you hitting the curb. It's a little sad, but you know, it's not the, it's not the people, it's the, it's not the people who, uh, it's not the Patreon supporters. It's the actual, like, literal pixel players. They're just, their stats are just not quite there. Alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today for Team Fight Manager. If you'd be sad to see this series go, you've got to let me know. So comment down below. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.